What's up guys? Happy Friday. We're watching the case study of Vanitas episode 5. And in last week's episode we had a ball. We had some tension between Domi and Vanitas. We had some spice between Domi and Noe, as well as Vanitas and Jeanne. That scene was spicy. That scene was spicy. That scene was spicy. My friend messaged me and she was like, it was so hot when you had to cover his mouth. We're a whole mess. Anywho, so in last week's episode, Vanitas got Jeanne to suck his blood. Maybe he's discovered that he oddly enjoys that and... I guess the ship is sailing even further. Although, who knows? Maybe it won't sail at all. I, d I have no clue. I feel like the story has a different focus, but give me the romance. I am here for it. Another big thing that happened, however, was Charlatan. Charlatan showed up, got all the vampires to start attacking each other and stuff, going crazy. And Noe is currently fighting to protect Lucas, Luca. And yeah, so it's actually it actually ended at a pretty kind of like, low-key climatic type thing like there's stuff going on so without further ado guys let's jump right into it we'll see what happens in this episode <laughs> now i'm always just like expecting things <laughs> Funimation actually put- Funimation wrote a disclaimer? I didn't know- Really? This episode contains scenes of violence that may not be suitable for all audiences. <gasps> this is the first time I've seen that on like, either Crunchyroll or Funimation, I find. What's gonna happen in this episode that particularly stands out? Oh, that intrigues me, but like, what? Vanita, is this show? This show. This show is just full of surprises. What the hell? Like, I, we watched on Crunchyroll flipping to your eternity, honey, and I did not see no disclaimer, okay? Like, maybe the disclaimer is not that serious. Let's see. Ooh. That's, is that the boy? Is that the boy we're always seeing in his memories? And then this opening! <laughs> Gonna be in his past. I knew they'd be siblings. So cute. Look at his face! I love that face so much. Oh! Oh my god, no, y'all know I have a. Y'all know I have a weakness. Y'all know I have a weakness for children. Like, Yo, you better apologize. <laughs> it just gets cuter. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! <laughs> that is so cute, I can't. Oh my god, and this- you're telling me this episode needed a disclaimer? <laughs> Why y'all gotta mess with our emotions like that? This is so adorable, y'all. <laughs> he came- Oh my god, they're adorable! His voice is so cute! Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my gosh, so cute! <laughs> oh my god. You guys are like siblings, honestly, at this point. Okay, so you know what? I'm sensing death flags. Everything is looking really bubbly. Look at these new cute faces that I feel like we're just gonna see destroyed. I... Y'all know the trust issues that I have now. I just, I'm sensing them. <laughs> Y'all don't do it like that no more, though. No, but like, all the way, he just like, went chomp. Where is he biting him right now? Is that his neck or? Whoa, he's looking for a... Oh, he's crying. That's wild. Mm. His past? Aren't y'all like 10? Like what happened? Y'all be looking like y'all having so much fun right now. He's like 12 or 11. Oh. Oh my god, they've aged. Y'all voices began deep like this at the age of like, what, 12? Like, what is going on? <laughs> nah, you just wanted to vibe with y'all. Yeah, I'd feel so left out if I couldn't stay there with the two of them. What the heck? Okay, no way. <laughs> I envy you. I guess that was like slightly insensitive to say. Oh, he's nomming on him! His face. He's so eerie. For a guy, they gave him, I don't know if that's actually a female voice actress, or actor, or whatever. I don't know if that's actually a female voice actor, but I've heard this voice elsewhere. Like, I've definitely heard this voice before. Um, countless times. But it's such a, like, suave voice to give a male character, like. I feel like you, this voice actor always plays some type of character that makes you low-key hate them. <laughs> Love hate relationship with the character. <laughs> I know this voice actor too, I just can't think of a character right now. I really suck at that on the spot trying to figure out. He's always been so curious. And adorable! <laughs> Bro, I feel like it's something to kill him with, imagine. Oh my god, he's so cute, what the hell? This makes me sad, his character makes me very sad.
Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, why? Oh my gosh. There's a curtain. Is Oh yeah, that's who Mina is, that girl. She's a curse bearer. I'm here right now? Talking about himself? Freaking angst, bro. Oh, she's gonna go off. She's about to go off on everybody, bro. What did I tell y'all? Those kids looked like they were here to bring in the, tr the, the tragedy. Like, that's literally it. We all know who that is. Oh my god. Wild. He did not. He's one too, though. I forgot about this thing that was like haunting him or something. I really hope he didn't die. Yeah, okay. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I just knew it. Talk about plot armor though. I guess you care about them more, but you literally dodged them and went for these poor secondary characters. That's savage. Bro. So this is where they met. I've met you before. I always, I knew this was going to come up. I knew you would say this to him for some reason. I thought that's what the wooden sticks were for. Bro. Okay, I did not expect that. I knew it was the fair congrats. I knew it. I actually knew that's who it was. I knew that's who it was. Wait, is that Charlotte? Wait, what? Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm feeling what he's feeling right now. Like, I have my gut. My stomach? That was too sudden and way too brutal for me. Like how that happened for a character like Louis that we just met and what he means to this trio and just everything, that is way too much for me. That is way too sudden for me. Bro, they really just killed him that suddenly. Oh my gosh! What the heck, bro? Oh. Right. So what do you mean when the time came if you like what would have been that time then? Oh 
Bro, I'm super salty too because I feel like Louis had calmed down and yeah, he was drinking his blood, but he wasn't like, I don't think he was in the same state. So I'm like, I feel low key like he would have calmed down after that and that he didn't need to be like killed. I'm I'm really messed up by that scene. Like we what we went through seeing them, they were so cute all together and I was really hoping that maybe something happened to him, maybe he could use some saving from Vanitas today, but I didn't I didn't actually think he was gonna die like that, especially. <laughs> Now you better than not. Okay, you can keep your shark teeth to yourself. No, damn straight! Damn straight! <laughs> you feeling better after all that blood sucking? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> well, you're alive. No! Ah! My God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wanted more. Oh wow, I'm really slacking on this song, bro. I. Oh my gosh. I can't read that. I feel like I see Alvatio. I would think the first letter is an L. Lalvatio? I don't think that's an S. Salvatio? I don't know. Okay, well I understand the disclaimer, but like it was it it wasn't anything crazier than my wildest dreams, you know, so Dang, that put me in a messed up mood. It was so cute at first. The, I mean, the kids, I sensed the death flags on those other children. Y'all watch the clip. Y'all know that's the first thing I said, okay? Um, they really just seemed like with this whole knowing how... Honestly, the disclaimer spoiled it. Because if it wasn't for the disclaimer, I probably wouldn't have expected as much. Like, if I saw the kids, maybe the whole death flags thing wouldn't have come on the kids. I probably still would have sensed something bad is going to happen to the trio, to the group somehow. Because I do know that Louis, we haven't seen him. He's like missing really in a way. Like we we don't know what's up with him. So I would have sensed, oh my gosh, something's going to go down with Louis or something. We've been seeing shots of him. He's been sketchy kind of. He's been like, what's wrong with this guy? You know, really mysterious. Last thing I would have expected was that he's dead, to be honest. I didn't expect that. When they kept showing us flashbacks of this character, I just kind of assumed there would be a larger significance of this character, a larger role they play in the future. So to see how he went out by that same guy that was, like, caring for them, I guess you could say. Like, I didn't ex- He wanted to watch him and stuff, so why did he just do away with him like that? That was just so heartless. That whole thing was so heartless right in front of, like- his sister, and no way like that. But I guess he really assumed that there's nothing else that can be done at this point. So we gotta behead him, but he he knew this. Remember the search documents? Like, he knew this before, so I guess he just waited specifically for the time that he, you know, lost it in order to, to kill him. But it was still all so heartless and eerie, like, not cute. You can see that Noe still is so grateful to that guy. In that situation, he just kind of like blocked out and just went straight to like, yes, teacher, as if like he did not just remove your buddy's head. Like, he's still just so grateful to Sensei. I wonder if he even acknowledged what really just happened, or like maybe he also sees that Sensei just, you know, saved me. Like, this. when you look at Sensei's face, there's all kinds of wrongs with him, bruh. All kinds of wrongs with him. The face should have purely been of concern. It had no business looking like that. But it still really hurts me. It still really hurts me that that was the end of Louis. Like, it just 
that's really how it happened. Just what? That was just very sad and like low key traumatizing. Really unfortunate. Just super unfortunate. I wonder what like we didn't really have. We saw Domi's face after, but we didn't really see how she's been coping with that and how she is today in regards to that. That is her brother, and she really loved him. She, they had a good relationship, you know. See, I probably wouldn't have felt as bothered by it had they not gone through this whole reminiscence. Okay, the whole beginning. Was so like how long they've how they've known each other and how long they've known each other and stuff that was just so sad like it was adorable it was so adorable dang so next week okay we have been I'm, as as of this moment for some reason i'm like oh is charlatan the the, the dude like for some reason that's how i connected it as like that guy that teacher sensei i feel like he, i figured he was charlatan charlatan possesses him or like that's charlatan but maybe maybe i'm not being correct with that but for some reason i don't think that's the case really though um charlatan still seems to be that you know bodiless figure that is going around stealing people's names uh, stealing you know vampires names and invoking that curse bearer stuff that's why they said oh i've met you before because you know they've met i guess in that incident which is why I'm like, I don't think, it's not too clear to me yet what Sensei is. Who is Sensei? What are you? You are unable to save your beloved friend. But his face was so creepy. Look at that face! No, but like, you see the gold? No, but like, you can see like the gold and the black mist, so there's a relation to Charlatan. I also question like, why was Vin why was Noe not able to recognize him as much? Or why was even Charlatan like, oh, I know you. Like, I feel like that would, they wouldn't forget each other kind of thing. So this is why I'm not too sure what's happening here. But I f there's definitely a relation if that isn't actually Charlatan. Like, they had the same smiling face. Creepy. But yeah, so anyways, guys, next week, I guess, you know, Vanitas came through, as we just saw. I don't know where Jeanne is. Maybe she's taking a little nap after all that exertion. We have Domi. I don't know what exactly she's up to. Um, I think those... Was it Domi's aunt? Was it her Was it her aunt that, like, pulled up? I forgot. I forgot. Something like that. Um, I don't know what she's up to, but the vampires are, in fact, raging. And I wonder what, what Vanitas is gonna do right now, like... Anyways, that is the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave how you feel your thoughts down below. No spoilers. And I'll see y'all again in my next video. So thank you and bye.